I've always been an insecure person. I'm insecure about my looks, my weight. But something that I'm most insecure about is my skin color. And the worst part is, it is something that I was born with and I cannot change it. I didn't become insecure about my skin color because I didn't like it. I became insecure about it because other people around me didn't like it. When I was a kid, children in my class used to tease me about my skin color. My relatives would tell my mother that she should make a mixture of turmeric and milk and apply it to my skin so that it becomes fairer. And the worst part was that, on, that both my mother and I believed that it might come true. These problems that I faced in my childhood are something that dark-skinned people all across the globe face. In 2014, Nina Dagaluri became the first Indian American to win the Miss America Beauty pageant. However, instead of getting support from people of America and India, she faced a huge backlash on websites like Twitter and Instagram. She was called names such as a terrorist or dirty skins. In 2014, in, 2000, in 2012, the fairness fee market was estimated at almost $432 million. In fact, it is one of the most growing market in India. So by this, I think we can clearly say that India has a huge obsession with white skin. Many historians believe that this obsession started due to India's long history of being colonized by white skin oppressors, such as the British and the Mughals. Because of this, white skin is clearly associated with power and, power and control and is considered to be superior than dark skin. Things become worse for India when Unilever came up with a skin whitening cream in 1978 called Fair and Lovely. The racism in India is still very prevalent. Dark skinned people till this day face racism due to their skins. People do not understand how harmful it is for one's self esteem to being told that they are not worthy of the same privileges as a, as a light skinned skin person because of their own dark skin. People forget that at the end of the day, we are all humans, and our skin, and our skin color does not define our talents and our skills. Media also plays a very huge role in promoting light skin in India. Actors like Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone, Ashwara Rai, and Soram Kapoor have all been guilty of promoting dark, uh, light skin in India and have done multiple ads for it. Bollywood has never tried to hide its favoritism towards light skinned actors. Many brown skin actors are given very small amount of screen time or are given not so desirable roles. There is no doubt that India is finally understanding and learning that all skins are beautiful and are equal. Movements such as Unfair and Lovely and Dark is Beautiful has helped many people to get educated and get aware. But still, but still we have a long way to go before this obsession finally ends in India. Now, whenever I look at all these dark-skinned people, them being proud of their skin, and finally recognizing what their real world is, I wish I could tell my 10-year-old self that my skin as well is beautiful, and I should be proud of it instead of being ashamed of it and embrace it proudly. And I wish I could tell my mother how, that how much money she wasted on turmeric and milk only for it to not work in it. Thank you. <laughs>